Hello everyone and welcome to our Scratch to After Effects tutorial. In this video we're going to show you how to configure Scratch and After Effects in order to send shots to After Effects and back with just a single click. Now let's first have a look at what we're trying to achieve here in this video. We're in Scratch with this shot and want to add some fancy text animation over it in After Effects. To achieve that we can right click and choose our custom command to send this shot to After Effects. Here we go. Now quickly configure the composition and add our text. Also add the corresponding effect for it. Cool. One more time. Text and the effect. Here we go. Now we disable the background clip as we only want the text animation and alpha from After Effects. And through our script, send the render back into Scratch. That takes a little moment. Done. If we go back into Scratch and open the tray, we can find the rendered clip here. Now we can just drag the clip out of the tray and drop it onto the shot. Nice. Let's now quickly change the blend mode and create a fade out animation using the blur parameter. Don't forget to enable matte transform, so we blur both matte and the fill. Set a keyframe here, go a bit further and dial up the blur parameter. Quick and easy. To make this link work properly, there are a number of settings you need to enable in After Effects and Scratch. The first step in creating a direct link between Scratch and After Effects is to create a custom command in Scratch. Therefore, simply open the custom command tab in the system settings panel and create a new custom command. On Windows, Scratch will automatically search for the After Effects executable. If you have multiple versions installed, you can always manually switch by selecting another version. On OS X, Scratch automatically uses the latest version on the system. Once the custom command is created, the button will show in the tools menu in the construct and in the right-click menu inside the player. To easily get your rendered comp from After Effects into your Scratch project, an additional script is provided that needs to be included in the After Effects installation. Scratch to After Effects comes with a UI script that creates an extra panel in After Effects. Through this panel you automatically render the active comp and send the results into the Scratch tray in one click. To activate the panel, copy the s2ae underscore ui jsx file from the Scratch installation folder into the After Effects script folder. After you copied the script and launched After Effects, the Windows menu will show the s2ae underscore ui jsx script. When selecting that, the panel will appear which you can then dock into your workspace to maintain it on future sessions. Once in After Effects, go to your preferences and select Allow Scripts to Write Files and Access Network. You can also uncheck Show Start Screen at Startup. In your default media folder, you will find a new subfolder. The generated After Effects project is stored there. The rendered media is located into a subfolder. Optionally, you can create an output template inside After Effects, which will override the output render settings for the media to load back into Scratch. For instance, to override the default After Effects export format of 16-bit TIFF with Alpha. To do this, go to Edit, Templates, Output Modules, where you have to prepare your render settings for the script. Create a new setting called Scratch and click on the Edit button to set the file format you want. For instance, TIFF sequence with trillions of colors, 16-bit TIFF RGB. Finally, to potentially avoid color interpretation, disable the color management in After Effects by unchecking Preserve RGB. 
Once you have set up the script and the scratch output module, you can exit After Effects. Any shot coming from scratch and rendered in After Effects will show up in the scratch project again in the project tray, from where you can drag and drop it into your timeline or composite. This was how to set up the bridge between scratch and After Effects. Hope this tutorial was useful to you and see you next time. Bye!